Hi all, we're taking a look at Google Plus right now. We're going to be using Google Plus uh, and Google Communities as a way for us to keep track of each other in class and share work. Um, so basically the easiest way to get this done is you have to go in and create an account for Google Plus. I already talked about that in the overview on the Wikispace. But basically if you go in and go to plus.google.com, so I'm going to get rid of all this other stuff here. If you go to plus.google.com, It'll have you sign in. I obviously already have an account, but basically this will be the home of it. I'm signed in. You can see uh, this is the main feed of everything. Uh, over here on the right, you can see all the other people that uh, you're connected to. So once you circle or friend me, you'll see uh, if I'm over here and I'm available for a video conference, if I'm on my phone, um, if I'm not here at all, it'll show up as a red dot or won't show me at all. Um, so obviously you can see Paris Hilton dressing up. So I can see my profile view. This is a lot of stuff that I've shared. You can see my friends and people that I follow. Uh, so this is basic stuff that I share. We're going to be using a couple different things. One, we'll be using communities as a way for us to talk and, and chat with each other. So I'm going to set up a community and once you create an account and circle me, I'll invite you to the community. We're also going to be using Google Hangouts. Or actually, I'm going to suggest that you use Google Hangouts as a way to communicate and collaborate with your colleagues. Um, I'll talk about that more in class. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to use, and I'm hope, hoping that you do use, is we can start to use uh, Google Drive and Google Docs. It's basically an online tool. It's like Word, uh, but it's a way for you to collaborate. So you can use Google Docs. Uh, for Word docs, you can use Google presentations, but we'll talk about that later. For the most part, what you need to do is you need to go in, you need to create an account in Google Plus, you need to send me an email, uh, you also need to go in and friend me. So basically, I'm going to search for myself, and then I notice that there's a couple other Eno Burns that look a lot more um, interesting than I am, but basically, if you click on me, it will ask you if you want to add me as a friend. So if I find some other people here, let me see if I can find somebody that I don't follow at all. Uh, let's see if, uh, let's look for, let's see if uh, Barack Obama's on here. So Barack Obama's on here, and I can follow him and add him to a certain section. You can see I have people that I have on my phone and then I follow without keeping their name and address and phone number on my phone but basically they're all there so you'd go in you'd search for me and you should be able to find me and immediately you can circle me or add me to uh, your your following list once I have that I'll add you to our community for class um, and then the last thing I'd like you to do once we get into the community is I'd like you to post to our community um, this is basically a social network so I can go in I can start typing, you know, uh, I can add in tons of text with my typewriter, my, this is not a typewriter, this is a computer, tons of text. So I can type a lot, I can add in images, I can add in video, I can add links, but basically this is a way for you to post, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for us to post and share the post with other people in class. We'll explain all of this uh, later and in subsequent videos. For now, Basically, all I need you to do is go in, create an account in Google+, so go to plus.google.com, send me uh, your information, uh, more importantly, just circle me, and then once you circle me, I'll create the community for class, and I'll invite you. And that is Google+, we'll be using it to socialize, communicate, uh, reflect on learning in class, we're going to use it as our classroom environment.